how is the Tampa Bay real estate market doing right now, this summer of 2023? Let's take a look at those stats. So we'll go ahead and we'll get right into it. So for June 2023, our active listings, again, are up from the month prior and actually up from this time last year, which is fantastic. It's only 5%, but still something. Our new listings for June 2023 are up to 19,000. That's only up 1%, but still great news. Next is pending sales, which are down about 8% from the month prior and about 6% from uh, June of 2022. So that one is a little bit more concerning. Next up, we have listings sold, which as you see is down again a little bit from May of 2023 and down a little bit from June of 2022. Now, if we go down to the next row, we see ADOM. Again, that stands for active days on market. So for June of 2023, they have gone down to 43, which um, as compared to the upper row, that's a good thing when those numbers go down for this column at least. It's down 2% from May where it was 44 days on market on average. So it's a really, really great thing. Um, total sales volume is down to 8 billion from the 8.1 billion it was in May of 2023, which is only a 2% difference. That may just have to do a little bit with the purchase prices and things like that and everything. Now, our average sales price for June of 2023 is $466,154, which is up 1% from the $461,000 we had back in May, which is great news, very great news, at least on the seller side. Um, and it is up again 2% from June of 2022, which is great. Now, our months of inventory is staying right at the same point that it has been for a while at about two months of inventory. Um, from May of 2023, it was also two months. And in June of 2022, a year ago, it was also two months. So um, things are staying steady on that end as well. These stats on this page prior is for the majority of, of Florida. Um, that is actually for all of what our MLS, Stellar MLS covers um, Florida wise. And that's pretty much the majority of Florida, like 13 to 20 counties, something like that. It's a, it's a very large number and a very large majority of the state. So some of those numbers aren't quite as accurate here for the Tampa Bay area. So here, the next page I have here is our stats for here in Hillsborough County, um, residential homes and all of that. So we're a little more granular here. And um, as always, I have the days to sell in the list prices for the last 12 months. As you see here, um, it starts with August of 2022, where we had a median days to sell of 10 and a median list price of 399. Now it stayed pretty steady, kind of went down a little bit, but jumped back up in January. Um, our days to sell had gone up though too. Now, if we go back down to May, we had about 14 days to sell on median at a list price of 425000 Now in June, that list price had gone down a little bit, but our days to sell stayed the same. Um, so it's still not looking bad or anything like that. Things are still pretty, pretty steady um, as to the month before and what things were looking like, you know, early in the year and everything. Um, again, don't look at July since we are in the middle of July. Those um, stats aren't accurate yet. So we'll just want to keep an eye on that. And of course, tune in next month when I go over the numbers and stats for July once everything's all closed out and input and all that good stuff. If you want to know what these stats mean for you and your situation, whether you want to buy or sell right here in the Tampa area, or maybe even both, let's get on a chat at one of the links down below and let's see exactly how these pertain to your situation. I would love to chat with you and see if right now is a good time for you to buy or sell or do whatever you need to do. 
For tons of great information about the Tampa area for you and your fur babies, make sure to subscribe to this channel. And check out this playlist right here for more market reports from past months.